As Muslims in America, we are a diverse community. Some of us have lived here for generations. Others are new immigrants. One family prays five times a day. Another comes to the mosque only once or twice a year for Eid. But no matter what our culture or customs, Allah has blessed us with the gifts of marriage and family love. Always good to see you. Always, always. And this is what it's all about. It's all about the family. It really wasn't until I got married that I realized everyone didn't have the marriage that my parents have. I never saw my parents curse at each other. I never saw them be violent toward each other. This mutual respect and tolerance, they argued very little. Sadly, not all of us understand Allah's blessings. Shocked every single time. I was shocked when he cursed at me and when he would call me names. I was shocked when he pushed past me. I was shocked when he slapped the phone out of my hand. I was shocked that morning we got up and, you know, he hit me in my face. And I cannot even, I don't even remember what the argument was about, but um, he struck me in the face and broke my nose and my cheekbone. He wouldn't let me work. He would uh, say, I can have this friend and not that one. You've never had nothing. You'll never be nothing. He would call me this ugly name in Arabic. He called me Sharmuta, which means... If you find that there is battery, uh, there is uh, sexual abuse, there's child abuse, in the other societies, you're going to find it among Muslims. So don't be surprised. Well, actually, I have done the first research in the United States on the incidence of domestic violence in the Muslim community. And I found the incidence to be approximately 10%, which is about the same as the national average in the U.S. The need of the community to present a positive image uh, cannot be won on the back of abused women. That's from an ethical standpoint. From a practical standpoint, you're not going to keep it secret. You'll never keep it secret. Uh, many people come to me and says, listen, she's not a obedience wife. She's not listening. She provoked me, provoked me to hit her. I said, listen, you do not have a right to hit her to begin with. Usually people do not tell me that they are experiencing violence. Um, a lot of the women that I see will present with symptoms of anxiety or depression. Women are taught that if they're patient in a situation of suffering, that they will be rewarded by God. Everybody would agree that it's terrible for a woman to be beat. Nobody's going to say it's okay. So they try to justify it. Something must have triggered it. Something must have caused it. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, clearly said, help your brother whether he is being oppressed or he is an oppressor. And the Prophet's companion said to him, well, Prophet, we know how to help someone if he's being oppressed, but what if he's being an oppressor? And the Prophet said, stop him from committing his oppression. 